Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for 11-11, so November 11th. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This reading is not for everybody. It's for somebody. I don't know who. Patience is needed. To find true happiness, you have to be patient, right? I don't want to just jump into anything that means nothing. Somebody's, you know, getting weary, right? Unsure if they should give up on a situation or keep fighting for it. Should I keep waiting for this or should I just drop it and walk away? There's a lot of doubt and fear holding someone back. But the next card is the Ten of Wands, which is a heavy, 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 heavy. And this has gotten heavy to the point where Somebody is absolutely on the verge of just dropping the whole load. I mean, I might as well just get up and walk away at this point. But somebody is still holding on to something, still holding on to that last glimmer of hope. Expecting to see a change. Somebody has put in a lot of effort into making something grow. But it's been slow going. It has. It's funny I started this out with not saying anything and about being patient. The Knight of Coins is very slow. Slow, slow, slow. Slow and steady wins, wins the race, right? Slow and practical. Let's be practical here. Because I want something stable, you know? You got to move slow. So yeah, beautiful. So we have a, a choice here, a choice that needs to be made in regards to love. And we also have a person who's been really wounded by love. And, you know, they probably have these expectations that they feel are never going to be met. So funny. That I said, it's it's amazing, jumping into something. Don't jump. Don't jump. Go slow. It takes time for things to grow. Interesting. Oh.
there's been an emotional disappointment here. And somebody is... really, really in their head and their heart about rather to turn their back on a situation or not. Seriously. They have a new opportunity. Or they, they want to go back to the their soulmate. It could be either way. But either way, somebody is really going through a lot of torment in regards to can we make this work or not? Should I leave and not look back? Or should I invest and work a little bit harder to make this work? And there's a lot of opposition here. You see, these, there's opposition. There's been a lot of opposition. But that opposition is a test. It's a test. It's a test of love. True love. If you can get through that opposition... That's true love. You know, if you can get through it, you're being tested. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. A major one, right? And there's a choice between two. There is a choice between two. Two paths. And we have a person here that doesn't know what path to take. It's like we're at the end of the road. We are. We're at the end of the road here. And you can eat. You, you, at the end of the road, there's a boulder. Okay. And on once, and it's, it's a yield. Right? Or a V or Y or whatever you want to call it. And um, you can go, you can't go straight because there's like something standing in the way or something. And you got it this way leads to, leads you back home to where you've been. Leads you back to where you've been the last couple months or years or whatever. Or this road, you know, it, it leads to a completely new destination. Completely, completely, completely. And you have to make a choice. Do you want, which road do you take? Do you take the road home or do you take the road to, you know, a new life? Because we have this new beginning here. And we have a, we have a big, big, big choice. Okay, we do. You have to choose. You have to make a choice here. Which, which, which road is going to make you the happiest? You might have to let something go. You are going to have to let something go to go down that new path. Somebody has been staying in a situation that is safe. It's safe. It's really safe, okay? But it's not happy and fulfilling. It's like, <laughs> I'm staying here because it's safe, but it's not making me happy. It's not. It's really not. And because they're doing that, they're throwing away the opportunity of a lifetime with the love of their life. Okay? Because the love of their life is down that unknown road. That road that they fear. That's where the love of their life is. Down that road that they fear. <sighs> Anyhow.
anyhow, there is an opportunity for a new beginning here. If someone could go down that new path, you got to see what's mirroring each other. You got to go down that new path. But this is a card of fear. Fear of the unknown, seriously. Now, there's something going on, right, behind the scenes with the moon card. And we also have these two, I don't know what they are, if they're sphinxes or dogs or whatever. They're still chained. In many decks, they're already broken apart. We have two people here that are that are linked. They're linked. But somebody is is holding on to some sort of grudge or something like that. And they're going to have to make some compromises and let something go. They're going to have to make an offer instead of keeping it all to themselves. And somebody has been keeping their emotions all in their, whatever they have to offer to themselves. They haven't been making any offers. They may have wanted to make some offers, but that fear and trying to escape reality has held them back. Even though they know that there is a a strong link, okay? So anyway, there is a opportunity for new love here. But somebody is going to have to choose between two paths. And whenever whatever happens this could happen unexpectedly all of a sudden you know you come in contact with your lover or the person you're supposed to be with and you know you know you know this is the one this is the one this is the one but in order to go down this path with you or whoever it is i'm going to have to leave something behind where I've, what I've known, where I've been safe, I'm going to have to leave that behind. And face opposition. You know, to be with my perfect match. I'm going to have to face some opposition. And, you know, that opposition is giving up on another situation. That's what this is. There's a choice here. There is a choice between two. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but that is the case in this situation. There's a choice between two. Do you stay where you're at or do you go down that new path? You're going to have to face your fears. Somebody has been trying to escape expecting something to grow in a relationship that is <laughs> not going to get what you want you can't make something grow that isn't supposed to grow we have Virgo need to come up with a plan B you need to really think about this it's time to step back and think about where you're, where you're going where do you, what do you see in the future where, where do you where do you want to go where do you What needs to end so that you can have the new beginning that you deserve? The world card is the last card in the deck. We all know that's a major completion where one phase of your life is over. The phase of struggle. Of expecting something to grow that is unreal. Okay? You are expecting something to grow that is unreal. It's not realistic. Even though you think it's realistic, it's not, you need to really step back and think about this. 
It takes two. It takes two, not one, to make a relationship work. And I feel like somebody has been wasting time living in some sort of fantasy world thinking that they're going to stay with a situation that is over. Okay, with the world card, it's over. It's done. So it looks as though somebody is not wanting to be alone anymore. Or I don't want to be alone, period. So they may be staying in a situation that is is a lie, okay? Because I don't want to be alone. I'm staying in this lie because I don't want to be alone. And now it's time for you to take a time out and really think about this. Is that self-protection? You're just protecting yourself from love by staying in a situation? Anyway, with the world card, it's time to step over that finish line. It's time to complete this cycle. Completion, cycle. These are, seriously, there's a cycle here that needs to complete so that you can have the victory and success that you deserve, but you're going to have to stand up and walk away from whatever it is that is holding you back. From this victory and success. You're going to have to go down that new path. For real. You're going to have to face opposition. And you're going to have to. Make some compromises. Yep. Somebody has been. Lying. <laughs> yes, they have. There's been an injustice here. An injustice to themselves. And probably uh, the other people involved. There's somebody who's been living a lie. Not wanting to be held accountable for their actions. Don't want to be held accountable. Don't want to deal with the truth at this time. I just don't want to deal with the truth. Therefore, they're receiving some bad karma because they're not doing the right thing. They're not passing the test. There's somebody in this situation that lacks integrity. And I know all of you are going to point the finger at the other person, right? Oh, it's, it's, and I'm going to get some comments below. And say, oh, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's him, or whatever, it's her. The biggest mistake that you can make is pointing the finger at somebody else. We've all made mistakes. This was a two-sided situation. Both people had equal responsibility So we have somebody here that has felt emotionally and mentally exhausted in the situation that they're in. And now they have an opportunity to go down a new path towards a new love. At the end of that road is a soulmate connection. But you have to walk that path. You have to walk the path. You have to take the lead. You have to be the boss. Instead of living a lie. Somebody has felt really, really alone 
whether they're with someone or not, wherever they're at, very alone. And now they have these, this opportunity to start a new life, a new phase, a new chapter. But you're going to have to face your fears. I'm sorry. Is this the way it is? You have to make the decision to do so. There's a lot of restlessness here. It's like, oh my God, I know what I need to do. I do. I know what I need to do. But that fear of the unknown is so great that I'm going to hold on to what I know and get no reward for it. There is an, you're missing an opportunity for true love by holding on to something that is safe and stable, but doesn't fulfill you. Whatever, whatever. And there's an opportunity for you to take the lead, be the boss, take control of this situation. Be strong. There's somebody is staying in a dead end situation that is emotionless. It's like, when I say emotionless, I mean happy emotionless. There's no happy emotions there. It's like too, it's too much. It's not fulfilling me. There's no love, okay? The love has died. The love has died. And they're losing an opportunity with their soulmate. Because they're going to have to step out of, of their illusion. They're going to have to stop escaping reality and go down that new path. And that means that you're going to have to face your fears, right? Mm -hmm. So anyway, there is an, a major new beginning here. When somebody actually goes down that road and, and goes down the path less traveled. And that's going to take strength, right? It is. Strength to face your fears. So I feel like at this point, somebody is moving to a new destination. Because they're going to take the lead. And when they do that, they're going to unite with the love of their life. I think this person is not your usual type, but the attraction and the chemistry is so beautiful that you will instantly know that this is what you've been, been looking for. But you're going to have to leave the situation that doesn't bring you justice. This could even be a divorce. So, is there new love coming? There is. There is. For those of you that can not escape reality and treat yourself fairly. Somebody's not treating themselves fairly. They're not. 
Therefore, they're not getting what they deserve, you know, because they're, they're living a lie. You live a lie, well, you'll get bad karma for that. I'm sorry, you will. If you stay in a situation for the wrong reasons, you will not be rewarded for that. There's, that's the truth. But if you can face your fears and take the lead and be the boss... You will get the love that you deserve. So yeah, I feel like there is an opportunity for love here. Somebody could come into your life unexpectedly or they have come into your life unexpectedly. Or at the end of that new road, you will meet this love of your life. And you, and you may already know this person. But you're, there's a dead end situation that's in the way. It's in the way. And this dead end situation needs to be removed. Okay, it does. And that's going to, and if you think about water, that's the, when you get in the water, he's in the water, it's unknown. You can't see in that water. You don't know what's under. You're going to have to face the unknown to get the love of your life. So yeah, there's a, there's a new beginning here. There is with the world card. There's a completion. Somebody is about to give up. They are. They've put in all that they can put in and they're about to let go. They had their expectations set too high on a person that was a fantasy or a person that was a lie, whatever that is. The moon is a lie. It's just not real, not real. And now they've probably come to their senses. You know, I'm lonely here. I'm lonely here. Not getting what I need from this illusion. And, you know, now I'm, it's, it's, it's time for me to be honest. And somebody hasn't been honest, okay? They've been living a lie. And holding on, perhaps, for the stability and the safety of it. And now it's time to take, the, that was it, you being tested. It's time to take steps in the new direction. Because you're losing out on a golden opportunity that could make you very, very, very happy in all ways. True love. Losing out on true love for a fake situation. So anyway, let's get an oracle card. Why not, right? Might as well. Let's see what we, what am I gonna do? Let's do this one. So yeah, I got another deck I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do another reading in a minute. I, was, I wanted to use that other deck, but I haven't used it in so long. I thought I'd use this one, so I'm going to do that other one and see what comes up with that one. I see that somebody is about to give up on a situation that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. They have a new opportunity waiting to come into their life if it hasn't come in already. There is a, a true love uh, connection here that could um, you know, absolutely be the one. But in order for this to progress, somebody is going to have to go down that new road and leave the dead end situation behind. Okay, there's one opportunity or one situation that is no longer stable and secure. It's a lie. And somebody's going to have to find their, their uh, strength to face their fears and go down that new path. Because at the end of that road is love. And that's true love. It's a, it's, it is. But then again, this is a card of consequences as well. It's up to you. You want to live with the consequences of staying in this false, whatever it is, or do you want to find that true love? It's up to you. It is. It's up to you. Interesting. Let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all of the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Unbelievable. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit. 
as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. Let go of the lie because you have an opportunity for the love of a lifetime. The best love that you can even imagine. But if you lie to yourself and stay in a situation that isn't love, then you will live with the, that concept. There will be consequences for that. That opportunity will slip away. And you won't be happy. You'll, you'll be feeling constantly exhausted, constantly tired, and constantly drained if you stay in this situation that is a dead end. It's going to steal your energy until you find that strength to face your fears. You're the boss. Take the lead. It's time to take control of this situation. Let's get one more. We shall get one more. I'm still going to do another reading with the other deck that I wanted to use. Since this isn't for everybody, this is for somebody who's uh, pretending they're happy when they ain't. And maybe they can't even pretend anymore because it probably shows. It probably shows that they're not happy, you know, in their body language. Life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose. And then your purpose will serve you. Are you meant to feel alone? Are you meant to stay in a situation that isn't love? Or are you meant to be loved? I think you should be honest with yourself. Don't you? Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself. For we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. Be honest with yourself. There's an opportunity for a major new beginning with that world card. It's where you have an opportunity to start a new life. But the main thing is you have to be honest with yourself and let go of something. You know what it is. Good luck.